Hi, my name is Johnston Blakely with Investigative Training, bringing you another tip. Now, there are times when I'm doing surveillance where I need to get out of the car to take an on foot surveillance position and I need to take my outdoor camera with me as opposed to my small little bloggy that I like to use inside. Reasons for this is uh, I need more zoom, I need more control. So I like to use this camera from time to time, but I don't want anybody to be able to see me recording. I, and, and also, I don't want to have to put the camera down on something. Maybe there's nothing to put the camera down on that's stable. Uh, maybe there's a lot of people walking around and I don't necessarily want to hold the camera for hours and hours, especially out in the open. So, what do I do? I need to put, put it down on something. Maybe I need to be mobile with what I put it down on. So I need a tripod or monopod that can give my camera concealment. And I have found this to be the perfect thing to do that. This is a golf bag, a golf club box. And what I did with this box is it's tall and narrow. It's, it's much like a tripod. You can, I can let it go or I can uh, tilt it, turn it, pan it, and that sort of thing. I cut a hole in the box. Now this hole can be smaller than the, than the lens itself. It doesn't need to be a very large hole because remember, if you're, if you're doing a little bit of zoom, you don't you won't see the sides of the hole inside what I did was I put a coat hanger through two holes have it coming out here and I put tape around it to hold it in and then I put a piece of cardboard in to make a platform for my camera and now since inside the box you need something to nest the camera in, I use a bean bag which also makes the camera the right height for a little hole. And it makes it much steadier because I push the camera down into the bean bag and it makes a nice little nest so it doesn't fall around and move away from the hole, that sort of thing. And when I put it in, to the uh, top of this, what I do is I, I turn the LCD upwards so that I can look down and align it up with the hole. As you can see the top is cut out but I kept a flap and the reason why I kept this flap is number one I can have it open and shade the hole from the sun which also prevents people from seeing any sort of reflection off the lens. or I can have it closed or mostly closed and be able to look in and see exactly what I'm doing. So this is what it looks like inside. And I can zoom in, zoom out on my subject. I can pan it to the left, to the right or just take my hands off completely and use it as a tripod. So this gives you all kinds of options when you're filming someone in a crowd or you need to have the camera elevated uh, or say someone's at a flea market and you need to film on, onto a table but you need to keep the camera tracking the individual. This is the perfect device to do that. And what I do is I'll grab a piece of literature, a newspaper, something of that sort. I'll start it recording and then I'll just pretend like I'm reading, reading the newspaper while I'm painting this to the left and to the right, looking past the newspaper. I'm Johnston Blakely with Investigative Training. See you next time.